This is Gene Key, KDD News. A car collided with a trailer Saturday, according to Amarillo.com, killing one and injuring another. Department of Public Safety officials said that about 5.30 a.m., Joshua Douglas of Ozark, Arkansas, was driving eastbound on State Highway 152, 10 miles from Wheeler. Officers said when he crossed over to the westbound lanes, Jason Trammell of McAllister, Oklahoma, was driving westbound on the highway. Trammell swerved onto the shoulder. Douglas' car hit the trailer that Trammell was towing, causing the car to roll over onto its roof. Douglas, 20, died at the scene, and passenger William Flannery, 35, was transported to a local hospital where he's being treated for broken bones and an eye injury. Neither men were wearing seat belts, according to the troopers. Trammell was not injured. I have the latest Texas temperature records, most of which is old news for those of us in Dumas and Moore County, with all of the grass fires and water restrictions. If you thought this summer felt like the hottest you've ever dealt with, you were right. It's actually the hottest summer anyone in the nation has ever felt. The National Weather Service says Texas 86.8 degree average for June through August beat out Oklahoma's 85.3 degree average set back in 1934. Texas has its hottest June on record, fifth warmest month overall, and July was the warmest month ever. The 10-year remembrance of 9-11 was observed in many ways across the Texas panhandle. Here in Dumas, many attended the First Baptist Church, which honored Moore County's first responders as part of a special remembrance 9-11 service. In Borger, the Borger Area Emergency Service Honored Guard and Vietnam Veterans of America had a service in Huber Park. In Guymon, they honored the 9-11 victims Saturday at the Firefighters Ball held at the Pickle Creek Event Center. The Guymon Fire Department also sounded the city's tornado sirens at noon Sunday, remembering the lives lost on 9-11. This is Gene Key, KDD News.